Hi, I am Azan and welcome to KID Company with Kabir, Isha and Dhruv. Well, today we will learn the units of capacity, conversion of units of capacity, addition and subtraction of capacity, multiplication and division of capacity. Now let's go and see what the KID Company is up to on a hot sunny day. Can we go home? School starts in a few days and we have to get our uniforms from the tailor. His shop is just around the corner. I know, but it is so hot. Yes, I know. I'm sweating a lot too. Guys, you should drink something or you may get dehydrated. Yes, let us have some juice. Sure, we need the energy. Uh, hello uncle, may we have some orange juice please? Sure son, which one would you like? 300 ml, 500 ml or 1 litre? Uh, I remember, ml is milliliter and l is litre, but, but... Well then, let us revise a little. The standard units to measure capacity are litre, l and milliliter, ml. Litre is a larger unit of measuring capacity and is used to measure the capacity of large containers such as oil cans and buckets. Milliliter is a smaller unit of measuring capacity and is used to measure the capacity of small containers such as a small pack of juice, medicine or perfume bottle. 1 litre equals 1000 millilitres. Proof? How do they know how much juice is in which bottle? The quantity of liquid which a container holds is called its capacity. But there are so many types of containers like this bottle. Indeed, a container holds liquid and its capacity can be measured in the same units. So, a glass of water or a pot of water or... Yep, all of them. What about the really big containers? We have a larger unit for those containers. A much larger unit to measure capacity is kiloliter. The capacity of water tanks is measured in kiloliters. Water or milk is transported using water or milk tankers which have very large capacities. Thus, to measure very large capacities, we use kiloliters. One kiloliter equals Thousand liters. Mom uses a measuring cup to measure the amount of oil or water or milk which goes into a recipe. But that is only in milliliters or liters. Dhruv, how do we measure kiloliters? It must be difficult to find a measuring cup for that. No, Kabir. All these measurements are related. As we discussed, 1 kiloliter equals 1000 liter and 1 liter equals 1000 milliliter. Let me tell you about some more units to measure capacity. Similar to the units of measurement for length and weight, there are some other units of measurement for capacity besides kiloliter, liter and milliliter. They are hectoliter, decaliter, deciliter and centiliter. Let us learn the relation between these units of capacity. In the given table, kiloliter is the biggest unit and milliliter is the smallest unit of capacity. The metric system is based on 10. Each bigger unit is 10 times the adjacent smaller unit. Example, 1 hectoliter equals 10 decaliters. 1 litre equals 10 deciliters. 1 centiliter equals 10 milliliters. Let us learn how to convert a larger unit of capacity to a smaller unit of capacity. To convert from larger capacity units to smaller capacity units, we multiply by 10 at each step. Let us convert 123 litres to centiliters. 
Centiliter is two steps to the right of liter. So, to convert liter to centiliter, we need to multiply by 10 at each of the two steps. 10 into 10 equals 100. So, 123 liters equals 123 into 100, which is equal to 12,300 centiliters. Let us take one more example. Convert 34.17 kiloliters to deciliters. Deciliter is four steps to the right of kiloliter. So, to convert kiloliter to deciliter, we need to multiply by 10 at each of the four steps. 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 equals 10,000. So, 34.17 kiloliters equals 34.17 into 10,000 which is equal to 3,41,700 deciliters. We can even convert smaller capacity units to larger capacity units by dividing by 10 at each step. Let me show you with an example. Convert 134.14 milliliters to deciliters. Deciliter is two steps to the left of milliliter. So, we divide milliliters by 100 to convert to deciliters. So, 134.14 milliliters equals 134.14 divided by 100 which is equal to 1.3414 deciliters. Let us take another example. Convert 84,537 centiliters to hectoliters. Hectoliter is four steps to the left of centiliter. So, we divide centiliters by 10,000 to convert to hectoliters. So, 84,537 centiliters equals 84,537 divided by 10,000 which is equal to 8.4537 hectoliters. Let's go find out if there are more units of measurement and the different methods used to calculate capacity. Dhruv, so is it possible to go on adding milliliters of liquid till we reach a centiliter or deciliter or liter? Absolutely, it is possible to add or subtract any capacity measurement. Let us further learn how to add and subtract capacity. Let us further assume that mother is pouring juice in the kitchen as some guests are visiting. She has a total of 13.560 litres of orange and apple juice. She pours 5.985 litres of orange juice and 3.142 litres of apple juice in serving jugs. What is the total amount of juice served by her? To find the amount of juice served by mother, we need to add 5.985 litre and 3.142 litre. Add the numbers as we would add decimal numbers. Thus, mother served 9.127 litre of juice in total. Now, we know that she served 9.127 litre of juice to the guests. So, how much juice is remaining? There is a total of 13.560 litres of orange juice and apple juice. To find the juice remaining, we need to subtract 9.127 litre from 13.560 litre. Subtract the numbers as we would subtract decimal numbers. 9.127 litre subtracted from 13.560 litre gives 4.433 litres. Thus, 4.433 litre of juice is remaining with mother. So Dhruv, can we find out how much juice we have consumed? Yes, we can. 
for that we need multiplication. Let me explain. Multiplication of capacity. The capacity of each juice cartons is 300 milliliter. So, the total juice consumed by three of us is 300 into 3 equals 900 milliliter. Let us look at another example. Suppose the capacity of one juice cartons is 2.150 liter. Then what will be the capacity of eight such cartons? To find the capacity of eight such cartons, we need to multiply 2.150 liter by eight. Multiply the numbers as we would multiply decimal numbers. 2.150 liter multiplied by eight gives us 17.200 liter. Thus, the capacity of 8 cartons is 17.200 liter. Now, if we have to serve 17.200 liters of juice in 40 glasses equally, then how much juice will be poured in each glass? Here, we need to divide 17.200 200 liter by 40. Divide the numbers as we would divide decimal numbers. 17.200 liter divided by 40 gives us 0 0.430. Thus, each glass will have 0 0.430 liter of juice. Wow! We had a lot of juice today. Yes, and we learned so much from just drinking juice. I wonder if we can find out how much juice we had. Maybe in milliliters. More like liters. <laughs> <laughs> Isha is slowly learning about capacity. I am sure she will catch up. But I am sure you all have learned about capacity and its measuring units well. So today we have learned the units of capacity, conversion of units of capacity, addition and subtraction of capacity, multiplication and division of capacity. Until the next episode, keep learning, keep practicing by logging on to toplearning.com. Bye-bye.